Hey, it's Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. Today, we're gonna install a TV wall mount. Okay, so for some of you, you might actually recognize this wall and you might actually recognize this faux fireplace because over 45,000 views later, now we all know how to install a faux fireplace. Yay! Today, I am going to install a TV wall mount. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really simple. Just get ready to like roll up your sleeves. That's what we're gonna do it right now. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, you are going to want to get a measuring tape. And as you can see, I have some wall sconces. I'll show those to you right now. So what I did was I took the measurement between both wall sconces and found the middle, which was, thank God, 50, 50 inches in between each. So they're 100 inches all the way across. Then what I did was I took the measurement of the height of my TV, which was 44 inches, and I got the middle of where that hits, which is 22 right here. I also wanted to figure out how far up do I want my TV to come, and I thought right about here, which is about five inches from the mantle. So in the middle of that is 22 inches from the middle of my TV from the bottom, right there. So roughly got the right area. <laughs> Here's your wall mount. Mine was about 25 to $30 from Amazon. It was great, our best buy, I forget. What you're gonna wanna do is start with where you wanna place it. So I've already created my little holes. I took my little pink pencil and I drew my holes for each slot just like that and when you do this very important you're going to really need a level so get your level line this up where exactly you want to put it on your wall get your level make sure the little dot the little bubble is right in the middle like it is like we see cool yay okay next for vertically challenged people like myself you get a chair Okay, so very important, this is what you have to do first. You need your drill, which is close by. First, you need your drill. And I just have a very small drill bit on here because what you want to do is you want to kind of find, you actually want to find your stud. So I have plaster walls, which are really fun to deal with, as <laughs> some of you may already know that, <laughs> who have plaster walls. See, it does attach, it does find the metal. This is your stud finder. It clearly found something metal. But in my walls, it finds nothing metal. It says, no, you have no metal in your walls. You have wood, so you're gonna have to tap to find that or you're gonna have to drill. So that's what I did. I took my drill and I actually drilled ball, or holes underneath my mantle to find the stud. So where I found the stud for wood is right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna start with a very small drill and make a hole first. And because it's wood, we're gonna use a different screw than we're gonna do on the plaster, which is going to be right here. Okay, let's do this. Yes! Okay, next what you're gonna need is a half inch drill bit. This is for the toggle bolts. Now, if you have plaster walls and you have found that you have landed on something that is not a piece of wood or some kind of stud to actually drill into, you're going to need to use a toggle bolt. What a toggle bolt is going to do is it's going to create a kind of anchor. So you're going to scoot it in after you've drilled your hole just like this. So it's like this and then it's going to open you're gonna basically kind of use this, these ends just like that to wiggle it to make sure it opens. And then once it's in, we're gonna zip it and that will create our anchor. With our half inch drill bit, and we're gonna put it right on the opposite right here. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> our toggle. We're going to just, it's not the right size, okay. So that size is not quite big enough. We're going to take that out and use a slightly larger inch drill bit. Okay, so I made two holes because 
things got confusing. Anyway, the original hole had a little bit of wood in there as well, but not enough wood to actually use a wood screw only. So we are still going to use our toggle bolt, which is this. So take your toggle bolt, you're going to see that it looks like a little T. You're going to move it like this, and you're going to stick it all the way in. You're going to go like this to make sure it's nice and flat. Then what you're going to do is you're going to zipper and move this all the way. You're going to hear it zip. All right, all the way. All the way to the, there we go, flush to the wall. So sorry about your manicure. This is definitely not the day that you do your manicure. Okay, now you're going to just basically snap those right off just like that. Yay, so now we have a very secure anchor. We have our plaster anchor and we have just our regular wall wood post. Okay, let's get to putting our actual TV belt on. Okay, so let's get our ball mount and we're going to put it up here, grab our screw, let's put our screw on first. <laughs> Take your screw, put it on your screwdriver. Damn it, why? No, what? screws in the back of your TV and you're going to figure out how many inches from the top of your mantle or wherever you're placing this you'd like it to be. I'd like mine to be a little bit lower because my mantle is quite high and it's kind of like this the whole time with the TV. So you can see I had a very tiny one in the back. It is being replaced finally. So take a regular screwdriver and you're going to want to just undo your screws on the back of your TV. These are going to act as your screws for your wall mount brackets. And the reason I'm using a hand tool for this instead of a power one is that when you go to drill these back in, you could possibly damage your TV if you use a power drill. And you don't want to do that considering you just bought a new TV. So using a hand drill, you really don't need much more power than just your own hands. So you have your bolts, you have two washers even, just for like really being careful. And you're just going to screw those right back into the holes they came out of. Okay, there we go. We have our brackets on the back of our TV. It's very easy. You've got these little swingy things. They do magnetize. You can just kind of push them up or do whatever you want with them. Let's get a friend to help us put this on the wall because you don't want to do this by yourself unless you're very strong and I'm not that upper body strength strong yet. Okay, we did it. We have a TV wall mount on the mantle. Not really on the wall next to the mantle. Yay! <laughs> this is kind of a fun DIY project to do. It's something you actually need to do and it's easier to do it by yourself than to have someone you know you hire to do it. But I will say this, it is a little complicated if it's your first time out, it's 
going to take a little bit more time than the videos really do show you. Even though mine's fast, it takes some time. So don't worry, take your time. It's okay if you have questions. Ask someone to help you if you need it. I definitely needed some help at one point, but I got it done and I'm really happy because now I have a new TV. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. Catch me at yourreluctanthousewife.com on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all over the place under Reluctant Housewife or Your Reluctant Housewife. Say hey, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys.